Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I just wanted to do a final flip through of my album. I went ahead and I was out of town and did some scrapbooking on my own, and um, so some of this there's process videos for, and some of this um, I did off camera, so I'll point that out as I go. Again, this is a pocketed page protector style or Project Life type style album for a trip I took to New Orleans quite a while ago. Um, I'm using a Recollections binder, three ring binder to put it in and in the recess on the front I put some purple uh, sparkle paper and then a medallion left over from an old piece of junk jewelry, an old necklace from Mardi Gras. So that is my album cover and then this is the first page and there is a process video on this, so I won't um, go into it too much. But let me see the best way to do this. I'll just go like this. Um, it's got an int intro. Um, I had some vintage pages out of a New Orleans souvenir book that are scattered throughout this album. I had postcards that I purchased while I was in. New Orleans and then I also got some vintage postcards um, from the internet so I've got those scattered without as well and then um, I have this armadillo here and a kind of gold medallion on the top some thickers that I use throughout the whole album and a few stamps that I cut out on the back page, there's a process video on this. I've got Oak Alley and just some wording. And my style really changed throughout this whole album, um, just from start to finish of the album. It was it's kind of um, funny just to see you know how much I changed just through this. Um, here I have a pocket page protector with just my brochures in it. It's nice because there you can see both sides. And there's a process video on this as well. And here's another vintage image out of that souvenir book that I got at a um, junk store. And there is a process video on this one. Uh, however, I did add this image from off the internet that I found. And I did all of my uh, journaling on here. There is also a process video on this. And one of my kind of helpful hints was to include some of the newspapers from where you're visiting, whether it be, you know, in a foreign language or just have like this one, like the word by you and, you know, some of the New Orleans addresses and things like that to give a flavor of where you're visiting. And there is a process video on this page. So I've just got my ticket stubs that I brought back from there. And then I have the um, brochures from the aquarium, which was on this page. And then the brochure from the swamp tour, which is on this page. There is a process video on this as well. And this was some cool um, alligator texture paper that I sprayed. And there's not a process video on this, but I did show this page on one of my prior videos, so I won't go much into that. Same with this page. Use some of my embossed Things I use some of my embossing folders and some of my punches as well. Um, this one there is not a process video on. This is of uh, Barataria Trails. And I have this big piece of bling that I got out of the Joann's dollar bin area that I put on there. Um, I also saw this rabbit while we were in the swamps. And these are like boardwalks that go through the swamp. And this was my favorite part of the whole trip was going through the swamp. I tried to uh, stamp and emboss a rabbit on here, but it didn't turn up, turn out really very well, so I just kind of put this flare over part of it. 
and yeah I love just the colors and the plants and everything about it was just so awesome and then there's this page which is just a continuation I've got a blue dog in here I've got some journaling I've got a stamp I've got another embossing folder and another flare and some of the uh, enamel dots that I got from Marissa and then um, I really loved the cypress trees I had never seen cypress trees uh, before only on TV and I remember as a kid then the program saying that cypress trees had knees and I thought that was pretty funny that there were trees with knees so I finally got to see some for myself and there's another blue dog and then I have the brochure from the um, uh, Barataria Trails and in here this is just a, like a Ziploc three ring folder almost like a, maybe it was a pencil bag or something I don't know it was out of some other um, folder I got in the past so it was just my stash on this side I have the um, menu from the cabin and it's kind of cool because you can see all the types of foods they eat in the south and the prices and stuff like that so I really love uh, getting a brochure from uh, where I'm traveling and I didn't have any photos of what I ate while I was there but you know New Orleans is big for its cuisine and some of the things that you get there that you just don't get other places um, so I got these images off the internet because I didn't have any food pictures um, and then I just put the name um, I had at the cabin restaurant I had a po' boy um, we had a crawfish shrimp and crawfish boil that my sister-in-law's dad did um, there was a restaurant we went to where I tried gumbo um, we had um, jambalaya we had um, some pralines from Aunt Sally's king cake at my birthday and then we also stopped at um, Cafe Du Monde and had a beignet so those are all the different foods that I tried while I was there um, these are just pictures from the cabin from the restaurant and then their logo and I stapled a little um, fork and knife on there um, this is a picture of um, my sister-in-law's dog uh, well it was her mom's dog well, it was my sister-in-law's dog, but when she went to college, I think it became her mom's dog, as a lot of pets do when we um, leave home and go off to school. But um, Peaches would come into my room in the morning wanting her, her tummy rub. such a sweet little dog. And um, then I have another newspaper, the Times-Picayune. This is a vintage postcard uh, that I found at a junk store. This was a die cut that I did. Um, with some gold glitter paper and then I put some of Marissa's enamel dots on there as a filler card this side is part of the um, the uh, Blaine Kearns Mardi Gras world we saw some of the floats that they were working on like this big green witch they were doing for the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade this is a postcard and it's funny because they hand out cabbages or in everything to make your um, Irish stew. Um, here's part of the graveyard of float pieces they take apart. And this picture as well that I took of some of the graveyard pieces. This big alligator is in their parking lot. And I found this picture online of, if it's not the same alligator, it's very similar um, of what it looks like when it's actually you know on one of the floats and then here's another postcard and I did some uh, gold embossed uh, shamrocks on some of them and then used some uh, shamrock flare on there and then this um, there's a process video on this is my uh, one of two 12 by 12s and this is the second 12 by 12 and it's just a shot of um, down in the French Quarter and I used one of Saw Crafter's um, wood lamp posts. Hi Saw! And um, I just backed the lamps with um, gold glitter paper. I did some uh, embossing with just like some music notes. Um, I also used a crown from this uh, Prima stamp set 
and some of the Fleur de Lis from this um, TPC Studio stamp set. And I had been lamenting the fact that I didn't have a lot of purple um, at my disposal because I'm not a, a huge purple fan. And then I remembered that I have purple uh, uh, gelatos. So I just made a big splotch of gelatos and water mixed together and made a big splotch on the paper. I sprayed some gold Heidi Swap. I dripped a little bit of green Tattered Angels on there. Then I did my embossing, my stamping. I put some of Marissa's enamel dots on there. Um, I put an artisan word from these uh, Pink Paisley artisan words. And um, oh, I have some little punch outs, little fleur de -lis punch outs um, that I had um, from somewhere else on the punch, but it was one of those little tiny, oh, here it is. One of these little tiny punches that I got, one of the first punches I ever got when I started scrapbooking. And so I just scattered a couple of those around. And um, yeah, so I really love how this page uh, turned out. So I was really happy with that. Oh, and I put some glitter here that I got in my Coco Daisy kit. And let me tell you, this glitter is really cool because it has little tiny stars in it and then it has you know from the chunky stars down to this really ultra fine glitter but it is evil it gets everywhere uh, there's glitter on me on my carpet on the chair on the tables um, it rubbed off onto my husband I mean it's everywhere so here as glitter is was it a friend of mine says it's the virus of the crafting world okay and then I have this one of a um, the crawfish boil that her dad did while I was there and here he is dumping the um, the food out onto the newspaper and then I put the instructions because I had never had crawfish before so I didn't na know how to um, break them out crack them out and, and eat them and stuff so they had to show me how to do that and here he is just making it. I just put a bunch of tags and stuff. Um, this one, when we went into Biloxi, Mississippi, I just have a big map with another geotag. And um, I used some glitter paper on all of them. I used my Mississippi um, sticker that I had. And these are all images I got off the internet because I had no pictures of this um, kind of side trip we went to the grand opening of the Beau Rivage um, Casino. It was the first time I'd been to Mississippi, the first time I'd been to a casino, the first time I had played slot machines. So I had a lot of firsts on this trip, but I had no pictures. So these are just pictures off the internet from like the Beau Rivage's marketing kind of thing. So that allowed me to tell the story. And this page Again, I have some things that I got off the internet for decoration. I have some bling on there. Um, we took a carriage ride around the French Quarter and um, they have carriages uh, by the square and it was a lot of fun. And I used the my Louisiana sticker on that. And then this is um, by the waterfront shows some of the paddle wheelers and the bridge. I used some of my stickers that were Louisiana themed and one of my Louisiana charms on here. Um, some die cuts that I had made. I've got another blue dog and um, just some more bits and pieces. This little round New Orleans fleur de lis is one I got off the internet. So where I could, I you know just tried to make my own little embellishments. Um, this one is of the streetcars, and there's several different lines. We actually rode on this one, which is the riverfront, the red one, and here we are um, in the streetcars. And then I took these two pictures of the, um, I think it's the St. Charles streetcar. And then this was a postcard that I purchased while I was there. Just a few um, cut apart cards little camera and stuff on there. And these stickers were, um, 
I found them, they were purple, they were in a paper pack, uh, in a padded paper pack, and it included a sheet of stickers that were was in the pad, and I looked at the copyright, and these are from 2007, so it was awesome to be able to use a bunch of these, so... Um, here we are walking around in the um, uptown, is what my sister-in-law calls it. You know, beautiful architecture still, but there's uh, they have more yards and landscaping. And then um, we also went to the French market. I had no photos from that, so I did get this image of the French market off the internet. And this is a vintage postcard of the French market that I got off the internet. And then I found pictures of these alligator heads because I did buy an alligator head while I was there. And um, I also bought some of this alligator jerky to bring home, um, you know, to give as gifts and stuff when I got back. So it was good to find that. Then I have my um, itinerary from when we booked our tickets. And I just decorated that a little bit on the top. And then I have a, a nice map that um, was one that they gave out while we were there. Um, there is a process video on this page. Um, I just have the shaker with my king cake baby in there. And it talks about my birthday. It talks about um, the hockey game that we went and saw. And... Um, and then going to the uh, George Rodriguez Gallery where um, the Blue Dogs are. Um, this is Lake Pontchartrain. Now when I was there it was all overcast and kind of stormy because it was March. So these are um, my pictures. Then I found this picture and this picture are vintage postcards. Or this was, yeah, this was out of the vintage um, souvenir book that I bought. This was off the internet, and it looked nothing like this. <laughs> I wish it would have been all sunny and everyone in their bathing costumes playing in the water, but it wasn't. It was all stormy and everything, but we still had fun. It was great to see such a huge lake where you couldn't see the other side, and it actually has the longest continuous concrete highway bridge in the world, at least at the time this vintage postcard was made. Now that... Uh, record could have been broken since then. I didn't get a chance to go over um, the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge. We did go over the um, Twin Span Bridge, which is farther um, to the east. So, And then we went to Café du Mont, and of course I had no pictures. So this is a postcard I got off the internet. This is a picture that my sister-in-law sent me of the beignets. Um, on this card I put it had printed on there just the word is in this box. So I put beignet and cafe au lait. And I put the little um, spoon and fork and the break time in there. And then this is a vintage postcard of Cafe du Mont um, that I got off the internet. This was an image out of the souvenir book. Here's my smashed penny. For some reason, I just love these things. Whenever I find a machine that does a smashed penny, I have to do it. So I went ahead and put it in here so it wouldn't get lost. And then this I just printed out on, off on, from the internet. Just this decoration. Um, because I had found so many vintage postcards and stuff, I had extra. So I made this little insert with just some of the extra... Um, like these are off the internet. Um, this is an actual postcard that I found at a junk shop. And these are some more that were out of that souvenir booklet. And so I just loved all the images, all the vintage images and stuff. I love old postcards. So um, I just went ahead and put them in an insert in here. Then we went to Jackson Square and the, um, the St. Louis Cathedral. And then we went inside the cathedral, but my camera wouldn't take very good pictures. Um, in there, so I only have that one. And I purchased a St. Christopher medal while we were there. He's the patron saint of travelers. There's me and my sister-in-law. This was a postcard I purchased while we were there, and this is one out of the souvenir booklet. 
and this map is from the souvenir booklet. It's the back of this next side, which was this. And since it had a good map, I want to lay on this card. This is, um, I saw Preservation Hall, and this was really cool for me um, because I love jazz and um, I played jazz flute and I have recordings that were done at Preservation Hall and everything so this was really cool they weren't actually performing um, but I got to see in there and see them like practicing and stuff so that was really cool I just embossed these music notes across the corner and I found this um, logo and stuff off the internet and this is a postcard the French Quarter with the with a jazz band playing and then this is a picture of the zombies voodoo shop and then I have this that I got off the internet which is um, the Marie Laveau's um, House of Voodoo logo so I took a picture of this voodoo shop and then I took another one of the Marie Le Levoos, Levoos, you'll have to excuse me if my, my French isn't very good. Um, House of Voodoo, and there's my sister-in-law. And so it was just weird. I, I um, used those same stickers again to, you know, see voodoo shops. We don't really have any of those that I know of here. Maybe downtown Portland they have one. I don't know. Um, then there was this. Uh, I took a picture of the street post to show I was on uh, Bourbon Street. And I had this little medallion thing in my stash that says bourbon on it. I think it was supposed to be you put a chain on it and hang it over your decanter of bourbon. Um, but we have no alcohol which needs decanting at this house so <laughs> I just went ahead and used it on here. This was just a random picture I took of some masks that were in a shop window that I thought was kind of funny looking. Um, on this side um, it shows Pat O'Brien. We went to Pat O'Brien's uh, pub, and here is the matchbook from there. Here's from that vintage um, souvenir book. Um, this was a photo I took of some of the architecture. I embossed some fleur de lis down there, some more architecture pictures. Here's me. I had, I bought one of the hurricanes and um, they're really big and so they'll put them in a to-go cup for you. You can take it and continue shopping and walking around downtown with your hurricane um, in a paper cup. So I wish we could do that in any town but um, then I also purchased the hurricane glass and I still have that today. I still use it and um, so that was pretty cool to be able to walk around with your alcoholic bed uh, beverage and just walk around town. And then this um, four quadrant page, I put the napkin fit really well. In this quadrant, I have a purple, green, and um, gold blue dogs. <laughs> and a postcard that I purchased while I was there. And then I took apart one of my necklaces to make this shaker pocket. And I put a couple coins, a crown, and some beads in there. And I just sewed it shut at the top. So it just makes a really kind of nice shaker. And I put a couple more postcards, this one and this one that I purchased while I was there. Um, then I talk about the waterfront and this is from the souvenir booklet um, of just the you know bigger sailing ships that used to come in. Um, this panorama is one that I took um, from the car ferry and I didn't have a picture of the car ferry but um, I found one online and that's what we would take across the river um, and this is from the souvenir booklet as well and we would ride this car ferry and I told my sister-in-law I want to be on the Mississippi somehow I don't care what kind of vessel it is I just need to you know be on the Mississippi River so she obliged and we took the car ferry a couple times across there so that was a lot of fun um, we went to one of the cemeteries there um, so she could put some flowers on her grandfather's grave. Um, but I had never seen one of these uh, above ground cemeteries before. And this is a postcard uh, that I purchased while I was there. And then I took these, all the rest of the photos myself. 
and they call it because it's above ground they call it the city of the dead and they do that i believe because the water table is so high um they can't really you know bury people in the ground um so they do it above ground and it starts looking like a little city and i put this little sticker here and i put had the rain and I put a lightning bolt on it because while we were at the cemetery it started to rain and then thunder and lightning so um, it really added to the ambiance of the cemetery and this was something I made after I got back um, in 1999 after I took the trip and I made this decoupage frame and I just used Mod Podge and a bunch of magazines and stuff that I had brought back. And um, then put a picture of my sister-in-law and I by one of the oak trees at Oak Alley in it. So I had this hanging on my wall for a lot of years. And um, then it was just kind of stuck in a box after that. And the same way with this piece of artwork was one that I purchased um, from a street vendor in New Orleans and um because i just loved it and i love um helping support the artists so um yeah so they were you know kind of starting to get lost and just like my saint christopher's medal and my smashed penny and my king cake baby there were just a lot of little things which luckily all fit into this album so now they're all kind of in one place all my postcards and napkins and matchbooks and and stuff so and this last page there is a process video on I use saw crafters um, window on the front wood geotag got um, saw crafters fence on the back more newspaper and so that is the complete album and then anything else that didn't fit um, in here besides my hurricane glass and the alligator head um, that won't fit in here. Um, I put in this um, Becky Higgins uh, pocket. So I have my like um, highway map. I have another postcard. I have one other picture that I found also at the junk shop when I found the postcards. Isn't that a great picture? Somebody took this. And um, so I don't know what year this was but they were selling uh, Mexican woven sandals on the street corner there but I just thought that was an awesome pick and I recognized it right away as being you know this same building so I just bought that at the junk store and then I've got other brochures and things and travel guides so um, that is my whole album and it fits in here just perfect um, it doesn't splay the cover out or anything. Let me show it to you. I mean, it's, um, it doesn't like splay from side to side or anything. And um, I can't zoom out any further. And this is nice and flush on here. I mean, it sticks out just a little bit right here. And um, even the um, armadillo is kind of nestled down in um, this where it kind of comes together so it doesn't push it out or anything in there. So I'm really pleased with the size of it and how it turned out. And so that is my album. I might do a couple more um, 12 by 12 layouts at some point, uh, but pretty much everything is in this album now. And it was a long time in coming, but I really had fun learning how to do the pocket of page protector style. And going through and doing this whole album at once was a, a good way to learn it. It was kind of trial by fire, just jump in and get used to it. So I had a lot of fun. If you have any questions or anything, just leave me a comment below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.